All right, in this problem, you are a space traveler. Congratulations, sounds exciting. Um, and you've landed on a new planet. So you brought with you a pendulum. When you were back on Earth, you measured the period of the pendulum to be one second, okay, on Earth. And now you swing the pendulum again, we're talking about small oscillations here, you, you swing the pendulum again, and on this new planet, you get 1.5 seconds, okay. So using this information, we are to find the acceleration due to gravity on this planet. Okay, so the acceleration due to gravity on Earth, remember, is 9.8, or G. So we're looking for that number on this new planet. Okay, so, well, how are we going to do this? Hmm. Let's start by writing the period of a pendulum. So in general, or how about on Earth, it's 2 pi over the square root of the length of the pendulum divided by the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. Okay, well there's that G in there, and so this, you know, just write, writing this again with different subscripts, the period on the planet is equal to 2 pi times the square root of the length of the pendulum divided by, instead of G, the acceleration due to gravity on the planet. Okay, so we need to solve for that acceleration due to gravity on the planet, um, but we don't know the length of the pendulum. Oh, you didn't bring a ruler. What terrible planning. But, well, we could solve for L using the information we know about the period on Earth and G, and then we could plug that L into here uh, using this, uh, the period of on the planet equation and find the acceleration due to gravity on the planet. Um, or, essentially, we're, we're substituting, right? Let's just solve both of them for L and then set them equal to each other. So, um, squaring both sides and rearranging, I get... PE squared over uh, 4 pi squared, because that got squared as well, is equal to <clears throat> so solving this one we would get um, TE over 2 pi is equal to the square root of L over G or square oops, All right, and then square both sides squared, squared, 2 squared is 4, gets rid of that guy, uh, and then we multiply over the g, and we get te squared g over squared is equal to l. Uh, doing something similar for the period on the planet, uh, the new planet, we would get similar answer, which is also equal to l. It's the same pendulum, so of course the L is the same on Earth and on this new planet, right? Um, so we don't really need to look at that L in the middle. Uh, I can multiply both of the extreme sides here by 4 pi squared to get rid of that. And I'm looking for the acceleration due to gravity on the planet. So if I divide over the period on the planet, I get... the acceleration to gravity on this planet is this ratio of the gravity on Earth. Um, so let's see, that's uh, what 1 squared over 1.5 squared times 9.8. And so we are going to get that this planet has less gravity than Earth does which I guess makes sense, right? It takes the pendulum longer to swing. It's moving slower in general, not accelerating as quickly, right? Because there is less gravity on this planet. All right. 